popcorn stitch begins on a wrong side row. In this case, it is the purl side. You're gonna purl to right before where you want the popcorn stitch to be. In the next stitch, you're gonna knit one, but don't move the stitch off the left needle. So you're gonna bring your yarn to the back in between the tips of the needles. Knit one, but don't drop it off the needle. Bring your yarn to the front between the needles again, but purl one into that same stitch. Again, without slipping the stitch off the left needle, bring the yarn between the tips to the back to knit one in the same stitch. And lastly, bring the yarn front between your needles to purl one into that same stitch. Now you can drop the stitch off the needle. This creates four stitches from that one single stitch. You'll work these stitches to finish up the popcorn stitch on the next row. You'll be able to find this group of stitches on the right side because they'll be lumped together in a group. But if you're nervous about locating them on the next row, you can place a stitch marker here so that when you return on the next row, you'll know that the stitches you need to work will be after the marker. Bring your yarn to the front and purl along to the next spot where you'd like a popcorn in this row and just repeat the same steps. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, all into the same stitch. Always making sure to bring the yarn between the needle tips when moving the yarn from front to back. On the right side row, knit to your stitch marker or to the grouping of stitches. In this case, we have it marked with a stitch marker, but you can see how those stitches sort of hang together because they're all based out of that single stitch, so they're easy to find. Slip the next three stitches as if to purl. Knit the next stitch. Then pass those three stitches that you slipped up and over and off the needle over the stitch that you just knit. You can push the stitch from behind just a little bit and you'll see your popcorn pop out. Continue along until you get to the next stitch marker or the four stitches that you can see grouped together. Slip the first three stitches as if to purl. Knit the next stitch. Pass those three slip stitches over the knitted stitch. Push from behind and it pops out. These little popcorns show up especially well after wet blocking. <laughs>